Right, I'm going to show you how to use the multi-master hub feature, which is a new feature in the black hubs with the new firmware, which anyone who's got a black hub, what they bought from Speak with you, should be able to download the new firmware, the version 0550. Yeah, there's instructions. If you look on the news on the Speak with you website, you'll be able to see how to get that on there, and then it enables you to use multiple hubs in master mode rather than just repeaters, which allows you to then double up the power. So it's a really useful feature. I've got three connected here, and if I click on here, I can see in there it tells me the name of the Wi-Fi, the SSID, so I've got quiz downstairs, quiz back room, and quiz front room, yeah? Quiz downstairs, quiz back room, quiz front room. But the important thing to notice there is they all have different IP addressing numbers there. We've got 226, 230, and 229. And I can see I've got four devices connected here, and that tells me um, I've got, uh, there's actually one over in the corner connected as well, so we've got, um, Two connected to quiz downstairs, one connected to quiz back room, and one connected to quiz front room. Now these are all master hubs, you wouldn't be able to do this until this new feature was put in, uh, but there is a bit to it, so don't just plug them in and expect it to work, because it won't. You've got this feedback here, what you didn't have before, you've got better feedback in here, I can see here, that one's connected to quiz front room, that one's connected to quiz back room, that quiz team is connected to quiz front room, that quiz team is connected to quiz downstairs. If you are connecting repeaters, they'll now show up there and it'll tell you how many is connected to the repeaters as well. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to set it up to use it in multi-master uh, mode. So, I'm going to go back a little bit. So as you can see, I've got three hubs here, all powered up, but I'm only going to ever connect one of them at a time, because if you connect more than one with the same IP address, you'll run into all sorts of problems. I, I do have to use an adapter on my MacBook because it doesn't have an Ethernet socket. That's the only reason I'm using that, and I'm going to plug that in there. I plug that in, and I'm waiting for that to go green, as it normally would, as it always had done. And then when I click on there, I can see that it's the IP address is 226, and it's called Quiz. I'm going to click on that, which now allows uh, will bring up the router settings for that particular one. I'm going to change it to Quiz Front Room. And I'm going to leave that one set at 226 because you don't, need, as long as they're all on different ones, you can leave one of them on the default 226 and I click save and apply. Okay. Give it five seconds just to be on the safe side. That should have done by now, but I'm going to give it five seconds and I'm going to pull that out. Pull that one over there because I've done it. And I plug a second one in. So you don't need three, you could do it, be doing it with this with two. I'm just doing it to show off really. Um, and we should see that go green, it has. I click on there and it should look exactly the same again. Quiz 226, uh, click on that. Quizzing is the password. If I didn't say, show you this last time, uh, the default password is always quizzing. You should change the password, really. Um, so I'm gonna change this one to quiz backroom. And I'm going to change the IP down here where it says multi-master hub mode. There's some instructions there should help you a bit. I'm going to change that to 230. I can change it to any of them in the drop-down list. So you can get connect a maximum of five. 230, save and apply. Give it five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. I can pull the Ethernet cable out. I'm going to go in the third one now and do exactly the same again. We're waiting for, I'll close that down, waiting for that to go green to say that it's recognised the router, the hub. Exactly the same again. Click on there, opens it up, it's asked me for the password quizzing. And this time I'm going to call this quiz downstairs. Yeah, you don't have to have, they don't have to all have different names. You can use the same name, but I wouldn't advise it because of the way this works. It's nice to know which ones are connected to which one. And I'm going to change this IP to one what I haven't used already. So we've used 226, we've used 230, so now I'm going to go 229. Okay, save and apply. And even though we want this one in, it's always good to wait five seconds. And even if you're putting it back in again, it's always good to pull the cable and back out and back in again. Okay, so they should all be set up now. So I can plug any of them in with the current cable. Wait for it to go green. 
uh, and that happens to be the, the, the 226 one, the quiz front room. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my extra Ethernet cable uh, adapter, USB to Ethernet adapter. Now the important thing to know is don't, don't be too stingy buying the Ethernet adapters because the really cheap ones aren't great and always be careful if you're using a Mac uh, that you check that they're compatible with Macs because we bought these ones recently and they only work on PCs so do, do be aware of that. So one of the other ones, once these are set up, they're set up by the way, we're only setting them up once and then it's just plug and play all the way. Plug that one in. Um, and now when we open this we might um, have to give it a second, there you go. So we can now see two quiz front room with the 226, quiz back room with the 230. I'm now going to add a third one of these which is optional, you don't have to have three. Like I say you could have two but you can have as many as five. I've plugged that in there. Plug that in there. And if I click refresh, we should just see it come on. Not yet, it hasn't recognised it yet. Keep doing that, there we go. So we've got quiz front room with 226, quiz back room 230, quiz downstairs 229. And if I want to go and set, uh, fix any of them settings again, I can just click on it. So if I click on that one, I'll get into the settings. I'm not going to I'll repeat as work, we'll do that another time. Um, but, the, but the good thing about this is if, if you were using a repeater and a master, it would be sharing the power of the master. This way you've got the power of three routers. So if you've got 10 teams connected to that, 10 teams connected to that, 10 teams connected to that, it, everything should work a lot more efficiently than if you've just got 30 teams connected to the one. That's the whole point of this. Uh, and the idea is you wouldn't necessarily, ideally you wouldn't have them all together. You'd get a long ethernet cable and a little power supply and you'd have them in different areas of the room. You can have them on the different channels if you want. So you might have this one on channel one, this one on Wi-Fi channel six, this one on Wi-Fi channel 11. There's no reason why you can't do that or have them all on the same channel. Um, and there you go. I'll, hopefully that explains it. The important thing, I can't stress enough that if at any point you accidentally plug two of these in, with the same IP address, 226, if you plug two in with 226, you'll run into all sorts of trouble. Don't do that, you've got to make sure they're all on separate IP addresses. If anyone's curious about using the yellow ones, there isn't the uh, firmware for the yellow ones. However, you could use one yellow one as the 226, and then two black ones, or one black one as a 230 or 229, but your yellow one won't show up in here. You can still use your yellow ones as repeaters in the normal way. Um, good, hopefully that's explained everything. Thank you.